You wondering what a wraparound mortgage is? Great, I'm gonna explain it to you in really simple terms, and then I'm gonna give you some ideas of how it can help you beat your competition and close more deals. And if you're really serious about your real estate investing, by the way, click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss an episode. I post cool stuff like this weekly. Alrighty, let's do it. This is Terrio Media. Hi, I'm Matt Terrio, CEO of Epic Real Estate. And if you're wondering what a wraparound mortgage is, I'm gonna explain it to you in very simple terms. And then once you know what it is, I'm gonna show you some really creative ways to use it so you can beat your competition and close more deals, just like my Epic students have been doing for mm, more than a decade now. And then after, should you want some more help, I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to get it. Sound good? Okay, simply put, a wraparound mortgage, more frequently referred to as a wrap, is a type of secondary financing that you can use to purchase real estate. The seller, they'll extend to the buyer an installment note which wraps around any existing notes that have already been secured by the seller. For example, if we have this house right here valued at $100,000, the balance on the seller's mortgage, let's say it's $50,000 at an interest rate of 5%. When the seller wants to sell, they could do so by offering seller financing and carrying back a new mortgage of $100,000 for a buyer at 6%, and they could wrap it around the existing mortgage. So from there, the buyer will then make their payments to the seller, and the seller will make their payments to the pre-existing mortgage, and the seller gets to keep the difference. So the $100,000 mortgage is a wraparound mortgage, as it's wrapped around the pre-existing mortgage of $50,000. And this is how it's most commonly used as well. So if you're a little bit more clear now about what a wraparound mortgage is, give this video a like. But if you have a question about it, put it in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer. I read them all and I love to give you the answers. So now you know what it is, but you know why it's important? Why knowing how to use a wraparound mortgage should be really important to your business? Well, I'll give you a couple of reasons. One, it's gonna give you a leg up on the competition. Specifically, you know, when you're seeing a lot more newbie investors working in your market, you, you see, they don't know how to do this. All they know to do is write low ball, all cash offers. And if the seller doesn't agree, then they're off to the next deal. But in the event that your low ball, all cash offer doesn't get accepted, you've got options. You can offer alternative solutions with something like a wraparound mortgage. I mean, from my experience, the more competition, when you know how to do this, the more competition, the better. Because with so many newbie, one trick pony investors offering the same thing, you know, when you show up, the seller sees you as a breath of fresh air. Number two, the second reason, when the market shifts and there are gonna be more properties than there are buyers, you're gonna be able to create some really great opportunities for yourself with really deep equity positions using really little to no cash of your own. So it's gonna work really good at, in a buyer's market and a seller's market. So you wanna have this in your toolbox. That's why it's important. Alrighty, so the likely scenario as to when you can take advantage of a wraparound mortgage enabling you to close more deals, three come to mind. One, when a seller wants more money than anyone is willing to pay all cash for it. What you can do is you can create uh, terms using a wraparound mortgage. Two, when a seller's house won't qualify for conventional financing due to its condition or maybe there's something about it that's obsolete. Or three, as a seller, you can use a wraparound mortgage to generate bigger spreads for yourself by reaching out to a bigger buyer pool. Here, I'll show you a couple of these scenarios. One as when you're the buyer, and I'll show you a second one when you're the seller. Let's start with our previous example. Let's say the seller actually owes $70,000 on this $100,000 house. And due to the $10,000 repairs that are needed, a retail buyer can't get a conventional loan that qualifies until the seller makes the repairs. And the seller, they don't wanna make the repairs. So the seller now is left with the only option to sell to an all cash investor buyer but none of your investor competition is willing to pay more than $60,000 for it. Meaning, the seller would have to bring in $10,000 anyway just to close in order to clear the entire mortgage. So when you walk in to meet with the seller, and because you now have the wraparound mortgage in your toolbox, you can offer the seller, say, $75,000, so they can pay off the underlying mortgage by wrapping a $75,000 mortgage around the existing one, leaving the seller with an extra five grand just to help them get to their next destination. And then what you can do is you can make the repairs and still have $15,000 of equity and the house could be a really great addition to your portfolio. And it costs you nothing to get into it except the repairs. Now, if you were the seller of this property where it's worth $100,000 and you owe $70,000 on it where you're paying 6%, you could sell it to a retail buyer for $110,000 
Typically, you can charge a premium when seller financing is involved as the buyer pool gets a lot bigger really quickly when no bank qualifying is involved. So you ask for 20% down, you carry back a wraparound mortgage of 88,000 at 7%, which would give you $22,000 in your pocket and a monthly payment from the buyer of $585, of which you would then make your $479 monthly payment to your pre-existing mortgage, and that would leave you with a monthly cash flow of $106 or so. And once the underlying mortgage was paid off, that $585 a month would be yours to keep until the buyer paid it off, sold it, or refinanced it. And this last example I just showed you, this is exactly how I sold this house right here in Memphis, Tennessee. And Tony, an REI Ace client of mine, is, is doing these same types of deals regularly in Dallas, Texas. So if you'd like to know how to find these types of deals, in the video that I released last week, and I'll put it up here in just a second, I'm gonna show you how we're finding deals like this for less than a dollar a day. Or if you already know that you, know, you just wanna go deeper with your real estate investing and, and you'd like some extra help with wraparound mortgages and other creative real estate investing strategies, then I'll put a link down below for you to do that where we can, you know, we can hop on the phone, we can talk about it, see if it's a good fit or not, and uh, we'll just discuss, alrighty? In the meantime, please share with me in the comments below what you found most useful. If you'd like to see how we're finding properties for a dollar a day like this, I pulled this video up right here for you. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and feel free to share it with someone that you think also might find this useful. Take care.